Samadhi Krab. Hello and welcome to All About Thailand by me. Today I would like to talk about motorcycles in Thailand, mopeds or scooters. If you've been to Thailand, probably noticed the huge number of motorcycles in the country. Motorcycles, yes, definitely a popular way of transportation in whole of Thailand. And if you see the numbers, uh, more than 20 million motorbikes or motorcycles registered in the country, a country of uh, 70 million. And I would like to say possibly the numbers of unregistered uh, motorcycles are, you can count it in millions, definitely in millions. So the numbers are really huge and really popular way to get around. You know, Bangkok and big cities are very famous about massive, massive traffic jams. So with your motorbikes, you can just wave through the traffic and possibly get to A to B, point A to B much faster than with a car. So because of the very, very bad death rate of uh, motorcycles, uh, I mentioned 70%, of the road traffic deaths in the country, there were numerous campaigns in Thailand, road safety t uh, campaigns, but they didn't help a lot. The deaths, death toll is still still rising, it's, it's huge. So you have to really, really watch out and be very careful if you use, if you choose this kind of way of transportation. Uh, it's, it's quite easy to uh, ride a motorcycle in Thailand. You need an international driving license and, of course, a helmet. Uh, a helmet is mandatory if you want to ride a mot motorcycle. Of course, the rules can be banded. And yes, in Thailand, you can, you can get your way if you, if you want to use a motorcycle without a license or without a helmet. But... I wouldn't recommend that. You do that at your own risk. If police gonna stop you, uh, it wouldn't be a big trouble. Possibly some donation would make your way out of trouble. On the other hand, yeah, there is nothing worse than have a very, very bad accident without wearing a helmet. So again, uh, don't do that in Thailand. So. To buy a motorbike, anyone can buy a motorbike in Thailand. You can buy a motorbike, uh, it's just a matter of money, of course. But if you want to register your motorbike you purchased, then you need a non-O visa at least. You need to prove that you live in the, th in the kingdom in Thailand. You obviously need a proof of identification, identity, and your passport Yeah, can be adequate. So you can use your passport. But a proof of address, that's, that's something uh, you, should, you should look out for. You need a kind of a certificate of residency. If you don't have the Tabian ban for foreigners, if you don't have registered address, address in Thailand, then I think you can get the certificate of residency from your local embassy. Uh, you need to contact with them. Uh, anyway, the main thing is, yes, you can, you can buy a motorcycle, you can own a motorcycle in Thailand. Uh, the cheap ones are the cheap ones you can buy second hand ones uh, as as low as 5000 baht which is like about 108 uh, british pounds or 140 dollars american dollars the average price i would say it's over 40000 baht uh, which is about 1000 pound or 1300 dollars uh, the other way to to get uh, around in a motorbike, obviously, to of course to rent one. Renting a motorcycle is quite cheap in Thailand and very popular way amongst tourists. And definitely, you'll find many many rental places at tourist areas. So the price, the average price, is about two hundred Thai baht, which is like I don't know five pound less than five pounds a day. Uh, it can be cheaper, it can be much more expensive, it can be even 500 or so. It all depends what kind of insurance, if it has insurance, so what kind of insurance you getting with it. And that takes us to uh, one very popular argument point uh, to say so, uh, scams, like motorcycle scams. 
Thailand has a very bad reputation of uh, motorcycle rental places scamming tourists, innocent tourists, and whenever you rent a motorbike, uh, you're gonna get scammed, they're gonna find something, you broke this one, this one damaged, that one damaged, it's 5,000 baht, it's gonna cost thousands, ten thousands. I have to say, I've never encountered with anything like this. I believe, I mean, I'm sure it happens. It happens to people. On the other hand, please, yeah, don't don't de determine that like it's definitely going to happen because I would say most likely nothing gonna happen. If you show your passport, identity card or driving license and obviously you shouldn't damage the vehicle because if you damage the vehicle they're gonna spot it and if you damage the vehicle and you have to pay for it then well you should have an insurance so it's not really their fault uh, if they say a higher price well you can't investigate that so again if you rent a motorcycle please again ride safely and definitely have an insurance, yeah. Especially in small tourist areas, like very popular way to get around an islands like Koh Tao, Koh Chang, or Phuket Island. Definitely very popular. One more thing in Phuket, I don't know, uh, because it has quite steep slopes and stuff. So you might don't want to get around with a motorcycle because it might not gonna be strong enough to get you up on a hill. Uh, very popular again so motorcycle motorcycles especially mopeds are very popular and if if your kid in thailand so kids when they get to the age of 16 parents usually buy them a motorcycle it can be again a very cheap one it depends of your of your income of your hierarchy the status uh, how much you earn and it can can be also more than a hundred thousand baht, which is really really considerably high price. And for a kid, yes, it's it's something really to appreciate for them. It's not it's not rare to see young young kids even below sixteen. They shouldn't drive. They shouldn't ride. But it does happen. Again, don't be surprised if you will see a kid of age of 10 or even below riding a motorcycle when his grandmother or the rest of his family is at the, at the back. It can happen and yeah, just don't be surprised. <laughs> uh, the most popular uh, motorcycles in Thailand, definitely Honda, uh, Yamaha, Kawasaki and Suzuki. So. Japanese rule in motorcycles cars as well. So definitely Japanese companies manufacturers are the most popular You rarely going to find uh, any other uh, brand or kind of motorcycle in Thailand And I would like to talk about a very popular way to get around and that motorcycle taxis a few countries have it, so it's not unique to Thailand. It was even in the United Kingdom, I think in the 1980s or 1990s. It's called Motosai Raptang. Motosai Raptang. So motorcycle taxis are a common form of public transport, especially in Bangkok and most of the big cities, towns and villages also in Thailand. They are generally used for short trips and in Bangkok there are motorcycle taxi queues on many soils, sorry, soils, or side streets and the queues are regulated by land transport authority licensed motorcycles operate motorcycle operators wearing an orange jacket it can be other, other color something like high visibility jacket obviously a helmet and at the back of their uh, high visibility jacket you're gonna find their personal information their taxi license number their name so if you want to make a complaint you can do so I didn't hear any complaints about scamming motorcycle taxi scams apart from you can get injured by riding on them and not gonna be insured then apart from that I don't think uh, many other problem could could occur it's a very che very cheap way to get around especially big cities and to avoid traffic jams to just wave through traffic jams you can try it again at your own risk I tried it uh, in the past, 
I haven't had any accident, but I have to say, I have to tell you, I didn't feel safe riding on a motorcycle, especially considering that I'm quite in a healthy shape to be, to say like that. So I didn't feel very safe. And generally, if you, if you want to get around on a motorcycle in Thailand, again, I would like to emphasize safety, safety, safety. Again, you can bend the rules, you can do it without helmet. Many foreigners, sadly, uh, riding a motorcycle while they are drunk, and probably I shouldn't even have to say, don't ride when you're drunk, don't, don't ride when you, when you can't control 100% the vehicle. Uh, apart from that, if you, if you can do that safety, then definitely it's a very, very nice and enjoyable way to get around the country and you're not going to get disappointed. You can rent, rent one motorcycle from a trustworthy uh, rental place. You're not going to get scammed. So if you do, if you do everything by the book, then the chances you're going to get disappointed in any way is very, very low. And that stands for everything in Thailand and basically let's just call it common sense. So I think that's all I wanted to tell you about motorcycles in Thailand for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please give me a thumbs up or a like. Please subscribe if you don't mind. I really appreciate that you watched my video and please stay with me for future content. I'm really happy. And thank you so much again for watching. Kokun Krab, Sabadi Krab.